Kids Online. Thank you for joining us today. We're so glad you're here with us. My name is Yaya. And my name is Pastor Nick. And we hope that you had a wonderful week. And we're glad that you're back here with us this morning. And if you're new, welcome. We're glad you're here too. Because here we learn about God's love for one another. And we get to grow in love for God and for our neighbor. That's right. So guess what, Pastor Nick? What, Miss Yaya? It's time for... Announcements, announcements, announcements! We love that you're sending pics and videos of you worshiping. Keep them coming. Send them at faithkids at faithce.com. Got prayers? Our prayer partners would love to pray for you. Send your prayers at faithkids at faithce.com and we will pray with you. Let's give a big shout out to our friends who are celebrating birthday this month. Journey with us for a family Lenten devotional that will begin on February 14th through Holy Week. Family packets can be picked up on Sunday, February 14th after church services or can be picked up at the church office anytime. Packets include everything you need for each week. So let's get together and journey through a family Lenten devotional. Family Easter service will be on Saturday, April 3rd at 10 a.m. in person, followed by an Easter egg hunt at 11 a.m. Make sure you reserve your seating online through our church website and or app. See you then. Let's continue worship. Okay, friends, there are many ways in which we can worship together to show love for God, and one of those ways is through music. Absolutely. So now, my friends, let's welcome our band in together. Ready? Ready. Hey, hey Faith, Faith Kids, Kids band, band, let's, let's play. play. Hello, Faith Kids. Please join us in singing Wake.
It's God's story time. Hello, friends. Today and for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be reading a book entitled You Are Mine. And we're going to be looking at some of the lessons that this story can teach us. So here we go. Punchinello lived in Wemmicksville. Just like all the other Wemmicks, he was made of wood and had been carved by Eli, the Wemmick maker. Sometimes the Wemmicks did silly things, like the time they collected boxes and balls. Things started getting crazy when a Wemmick named Tuck bought a new box. Others had boxes, but Tuck's was new. Tuck loved his new box. It was brightly colored, and he was proud of it. He strutted up and down the street, showing off his box. Have you seen my new box? He would ask the Wemmicks he passed. Would you like to touch it? Tuck found Punchinello. Don't you wish you had a new box? He teased. Punchinello thought Tuck's box was beautiful, and he wished for a box of his own. Soon Tuck began to think he was better than other Wemmicks because he had a new box. Nip disagreed. My box is as good as Tuck's, he said, showing off his box on the other side of the street. Tuck gave Nip a mad look. Then he had an idea. He stepped into a store and he bought a ball. Now he had more things than Nip. He had a box and a ball. Nip frowned at Tuck's ball and then bought two balls. He boasted to Tuck, I have more than you. Before he knew it, Tuck was buying another box. Then Nip bought another ball. Then Tuck bought another ball. And Nip bought a box. Ball, box, ball, box. Tuck, Nip, Nip, Tuck. And on and on it went. The mayor tried to stop this whole mess. You two are being silly, he said to Nip and Tuck. Why, who cares who has the most toys? You're just jealous, they replied, because you don't have any. Jealous, the mayor asked, of you? Ha! But soon, the mayor was in the store buying boxes and balls as well. Other Wemmicks began to join in. The baker, the butcher, the doctor, the dentist. Before long, everyone wanted to own the most balls and boxes. Some boxes were big, some were bright. Some balls were heavy and some were light. Tall people carried them, small people carried them, everybody carried them, and everybody thought, good Wemmicks have a lot. Not so good Wemmicks have little. When a Wemmick walked down the street with a stack of balls and boxes higher than his head, the people stopped. Now there goes a good Wemmick, they would say. But when a Wemmick passed by with only one ball or box, the others would whisper, that poor, poor Wemmick. That's where we're going to stop for today, my friends. But you know, listen, there's nothing wrong with having new things, with having nice things. The problem the Wemmicks had in today's story, though, is that they became jealous of each other whenever someone else would get a new thing or a nice thing until they started to compete with one another. Everybody say compete. Yeah. They began to compete with one another until they got more and more and more until the things became the most important thing until they began to use the things to determine how important a Wemmick was. Those who had more were more important than those who had little were less important. Everybody say, uh-oh, yeah, uh-oh. Because whenever that happens, my friends, things never really go well. So will you join me next week when we take a look at what happens next? But for now... Please pray with me. Bow your heads, fold your hands, and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you so much for the gift of this day. And thank you so much for letting us 
and blessing us to have good things. And help us, Lord, to share those things with others so that the things aren't the most important thing. But loving and sharing is. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's time for a pop quiz. Stand up. And if you have the right answer, do the same pose as Pastor Nick. Here we go. True or false, we are all made in God's image. Is it true or false? The answer is true. Thanks for playing! I saved you, you are mine. Isaiah 43, 1 Well, let's stand up and get ready for worship, my friends. Let's call on our Faith Kids Band. Ready? Ready. Hey, hey Faith, Faith Kids, Kids Band, Band. Let's, let's play! All right, Faith Kids, join us in singing Follow You. Hello, hello, it's me again, it's me again. I know, I know, when I call, you hear me, you hear me. Hello, hello, it's me again, it's me again. I know, I know, when I call, you hear me, you hear me. I love, I love to pray, cause you hear what I've got to say. But I never want to be someone who just talks and never listens to you. I want to be the one who says that I'll follow. I'm gonna follow you every day, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever separate me from your love today, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever stop me from living for you. Hello, hello, it's me again. It's me again. I know, I know, when I call, you hear me, you hear me. I love, I love to pray, cause you hear what I've got to say. But I never want to be someone who just talks and never listens to you. I want to be the one who says that I'll follow. Ooh, 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 I'm going to follow you every day, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever separate me from your love today, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever stop me from living for you every day, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever separate me from your love today, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever stop me from living for you. me again, it's me again. I know, I know when I call, you hear me, you hear me. Ooh, 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 I'm gonna follow. Ooh, 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 I'm gonna follow. Ooh, 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 I'm gonna follow you. Every day, God, nothing, nothing will ever separate me from your love today, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever stop me from living for you every day, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever separate me from your love today, God. Nothing, no nothing will ever stop me from living for you. Because God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Yes, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. 
Yeah. No, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God One is more time. good. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is Let's good. Go. Hey friends, thank you so much for joining us today. What a great worship we had, do it, worshiping together, and so glad that we were able to do that. Thank you, Yaya. I truly love getting to worship with y'all, and I hope that from either God's story time or when we get to listen to the Faith Kids Band, that you're able to take that with you as you go into another new week, that you're able to use that and share that with friends at school, your family, and you get to continue to talk about and to grow in relationships with one another and with God. So thank you very much, friends, and we look forward to seeing you next week. See you next week. Bye, guys.